Me and my boyfriend got invited to go on a cabin trip with our friend Nico and his family. I'm really grateful that my boyfriend wanted to drive because it allowed me to just take in all the scenery of the mountains, the trees, and even the very beautiful sky. All the clouds were looking so poofy and swooshy and I just love them. We started a fire up and the boys decided to chop some wood. Harrison, on the other hand, was trying his hardest to chop the wood, but it took him a while to get the hang of it. And next to the cabin, there was a little frog jumping around, so my boyfriend decided to catch it just to show me. Later, the parents took us on a house tour and we saw that they had guns just displayed everywhere and we decided to ask if we could shoot them. Got the cowboy killer right here, buddy. Close the chamber, cock it, pull the trigger, boom. Okay. It, this is buckshot, so this is basically, this go right through you, hurt you. It was my first time shooting a gun, and they didn't warn me ahead of time, but uh, apparently you're supposed well. to put it all the way to your shoulder, but I didn't, and... After that shot, my shoulder was sore for a couple of days. Now this double barrel is really cool because it has not only one trigger, but two. Oh. <laughs> this, is a, this is a Mossberg, but it's basically the Remington 870, which is the gun that all police have in their car. I don't that gun. It's a great gun. For the, for the house. This is the best gun to have. You yep. just pop these up here in, in the chamber. I'm gonna shoot zombies. That, this is what you're shooting. That's the best gun in the zombie game. Yeah. <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally. <laughs> that really gauge pump. After a long day of cabin shenanigans, we set up our Eno and the lights matched all the lights that they had set up around the house. So that was pretty cool. A campfire is not a campfire without, you guessed it, a s'more. So you know I was hitting on these. Um, I make mine golden brown in between that chocolatey graham crackery crust.
After a good night's rest, we were ready to ride those ATVs, so we got them all out. Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk too much during the ATV ride, just so y'all can enjoy the scenery. When we got to this mud puddle, my boyfriend let everybody go ahead of him so that he could be the last to go through. And without any warning, he just took off. <laughs> After parking all the ATVs, we decided it was time to paint. Nico's dad had just like whipped up this birdhouse in the garage and it took him like a good five minutes and he was just gonna hang it up but I actually asked him if I could paint on it. 